what's up YouTube most of y'all have been watching my videos and I'm sure y'all noticed that it is time for a touch-up like yo girl is long overdue for a touch-up and I tried something different from my last video where I dyed my hair you can see that there are different levels of blonde in my hair my roots are like a dark brown almost black color then it goes into like a brown color and then like a burnt brassy brown color and then the nice blonde color that I want you can see that the front and all down the middle of my hair needs to be lifted so that the color blends and I don't have like three distinct different colors that don't transition well at all. I always dye my hair while it's unwashed and you don't need to dye your hair with freshly washed hair. That's just my opinion. So this time I'm going to start off and lift my roots with the dark and lovely color and the color golden bronze. If y'all watch my hair journey y'all know that I started off and went lighter with dark and lovely dye. It has always lifted my hair the fastest and I feel like it just, I mean, it was perfect for me. It didn't give me any damage and all of their colors have worked really well for my hair. I'm just focusing on the roots so I'm going to part my hair in chunky sections and apply the color into my roots. This color does lift my hair really fast so I usually apply the color along my baby hairs and my edges last. When you go to the back, I use the same method and divide my hair into sections and apply the dye and work the color into the darker parts of my hair with my hands. After I use all the color, I like to go back into the different sections and just make sure all the color is worked into the darker parts nice and evenly. So I'm just going to rub the color into my hair versus my scalp. Now here are the results after a braid out and letting my hair soak in olive oil. When I bleach my hair, I like to do it on a braid out so that it's as straight as possible and it's easy to move through. But today I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a different method. So here's the accurate results with no product, no oil, and no braid out. My color is nice and even and my curls are not damaged, which is most important. I only left the color in for about 20 minutes and my hair lifted to the perfect golden bronze color so that my color can transition to the perfect blonde. Everything looks pretty even but if I did miss a spot it'll be fine because I still have to go in with the bleach and highlight my hair. Sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to get right into bleaching my hair so I'll just keep the color like this until I feel like bleaching it. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling and sometimes I really like my hair color with the brown root. So I'm going to mix two ounces of a 30 developer and one pack of B&W bleach. A 30 developer is the perfect volume for my hair texture because it will not ruin my curl pattern and it lifts my hair to the perfect blonde color before I use the toner. Toner is the most important thing guys. If you want a certain color blonde, it is almost absolutely definitely necessary for you to use a toner. Instead of dyeing my hair on a braid out, leaving my hair curly allows me to see what type of curl I'm applying the bleach on. I chose to try this method because I still have some heat damage pieces from a weave that I had a long time ago. I had to straighten my leave out so my curls got damaged and I don't want to apply any bleach to those pieces. When you bleach your hair after a braid out, it's kind of hard to tell which curls are strong and which curls are weak. Using this method made it easy to tell which curls can take the bleach and which curls need to stay away from the bleach. I process my hair two times using a 30 developer, leaving it on for about 30 minutes each process. Once the bleach dries, it no longer <laughs> lightens your hair. So leaving it on for an hour, thinking, oh, I'm only process my hair once, it just damages your hair. Personally, I like to leave the bleach on for less time and process a second time if needed because it doesn't damage my hair. And then after the first 30 minutes, I can analyze my hair and see how my texture took the bleach. But everyone is different. And being that I'm not a professional colorist, this is just my personal opinion from my own experience. If you're not familiar with coloring your hair, I would suggest going to a trusted curly hair professional. Here are the results after using a Wella T15, which is a beige golden blonde than the typical ash blonde that I usually go for. I will be leaving my hair in a bun with a deep conditioner and different treatments for a few days just to restore some strength back into my hair. I will also upload some protective styles that I use after coloring my hair so that I can still be cute out and about and my hair is not stuck in a bun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.